Hey, welcome to Praxis Daily. Yesterday I was watching a really good short video with Joanna Lord, who's the Chief Marketing Officer at ClassPass. And the interviewer asked her, what's the one thing she would kind of go back early on in, in, in her career and do differently? And she said she was too hyper-focused on specializing in marketing. And she wished she got more experience in different types of roles different departments at different companies. And the kind of regret was centered around she has had a, uh, a bigger learning curve, a steeper learning curve, uh, as she's reached higher level positions because once you're at a certain you know, level with positions, you need, to, you need to know more than just your specialty. Um, and she really wishes that she was able to develop that earlier on in her career. Um, and I thought that was great insight, great self-awareness by, by Joanna. Um, but I see this all the time with both, with any ambitious young people, both within the Praxis program and outside of it. It's very easy to fall into this, uh, this trap that I think comes from having a, a more school-minded approach to your career. And you feel like you need to pick a career for yourself, just as if you're picking a major in, in college and you're trying to uh, plan the next 20 or 30 years of your career and, and think about what types of roles you can specifically do for that length of period now, which is ridiculous. There's going to be different types of roles that come up. Your interests are going to change. You're going to learn much more about what you do and don't like doing, and you're gonna develop different types of skills that you can't completely predict at all at, at this stage and for the future. Um, so my, my advice here, and I think something Joanna touched upon, is a uh, couple different things. Uh, first, instead of focusing, instead of trying to plan out your career and select ahead of time, focus on going in where you can create the most value for a company. And that's how you're going to benefit yourself the most. Uh, so an example is, say you're you know, 19, 20, just starting to, to really get your career started and you're really interested in doing content marketing. Pretty much every 19, 20 year old I come across is interested in content marketing. Um, but the truth of the matter is that is not usually the highest priority for a growing company. Um, there are other priorities. They need to be serving existing uh, customers and they need to be bringing in new customers. So. If you're 19, 20, you're interested in marketing, that's great. Don't limit yourself and don't you know, force yourself not to be interested in those things, but also be realistic about where you could possibly go and create the most value. Maybe there's a company out there that you're really excited about. You love their products, uh, you think it's really cool, maybe you use them yourselves, and it's like your dream to work for this company. And don't limit yourself by saying like, oh, I can only do marketing there. Think about from the company's perspective, put yourself in the, in the shoes of the CEO and think about what are the biggest needs of that company. It might be on the sales team or the customer success team um, and start there. And by doing that, um, kind of you know, maybe taking stock of where you could create the most value and that's gonna change you know, every one to two years probably, um, you can both stay hyper focus at the task at hand and that is definitely the best way to learn new skills and develop a really strong reputation professionally while at the same time not typecasting yourself in a specific career because as you develop different types of skills and your interests are also going to change and you're going to see shifts